So now, if you look at the um, West Ham manager, David Moyes, his record at Emirates. This is, in fact, this is one thing that convinced Arsenal fans that they are going to win this game, or worst, the worst result they can get is a draw. It is because of the, the record that David Moyes has at, at Arsenal. If you look at the record, he has played 23 games against Arsenal, um, lost 18 games, drew 4, and finally got his first win yesterday. So if you look at the, the, the record, the, he had never won at, at, at the Emirates, and that was his first win at Emirates, so no one predicted that. But personally, like I said before, I knew that was going to be a very tough game for Arsenal. And that was a very shocking result for Arsenal. So what does this mean for Arsenal now? So now Arsenal are now sitting at 40 points uh, with Liverpool on top at 42 points. But now these things have become more tricky because uh, Manchester City have got a game in hand. If they play again, if, if Man City win against Sheffield United, they are going to be on 40 points as well, uh, which will make them tie with Arsenal. Now this is very tricky. Because, you know, some people, I, I, I responded to some guys before uh, in one of my recent videos who was saying that um, Manchester City are no longer title contenders because the gap uh, is, is, is widening, they are, they are not performing good and all that. And I said that saying Manchester City are no longer title contenders, that is a very ridiculous statement. Because things are just getting started now. We've seen that Liverpool will just be two points ahead of Man City. That is if Man City win their game against uh, Sheffield United, which I expect them to win. So once that happens, um, in January, we are expecting the likes of Kevin De Bruyne to return. We are expecting Hayden Holland to, to return and also uh, Jeremy Doku. And we expect Man City to, to sign uh, probably uh, some new midfielders because they, they, it is almost uh, imminent that people like Kevin Phillips are going to leave this summer. So, of course, we expect Manchester City to make some signings. So, if you look at the whole scenario, Man City is likely to... To, to become more of a, of a stronger team than they've been since the start of the season. And once that happens, it means the title uh, competition now will enhance it, to become even more difficult. Because it, we also know that Manchester City, uh, after Christmas, they, they enter savage mode. Because, you know, some people are thinking that Man City is now becoming reluctant. And for me, that is one statement I totally disagree with. Manchester City is not the type, type of team that can, can be reluctant. Uh, and if you ask me when it comes to Arsenal winning the league, like I'll still maintain my stance, like, I, like I've been I've said in my recent videos. I don't think Arsenal is going to win this league this year. I think there are only two teams that can win the, the league this year. It is either Man City wins it again or Liverpool. And what is going to determine if Liverpool is going to, to win the league is their injuries. If Liverpool don't get any injuries or if their, their most important players don't get injured, they have a very good chance on winning the, the, the league. Just like Mourinho put it, when they asked him about uh, the Premier League title this season, he he gave he gave fifty one percent chance to Man City of win to win it, and also gave forty nine percent to Liverpool to win it. And when they asked him about Arsenal, he just said nah because he knows also he knows Arsenal will surely choke at some point. And this is this is just one of those games they they they've, they've not even started yet. Arsenal will begin to choke. They will choke, especially that they don't even have their some of their key players like uh, Tomiyasu and uh, Pate. Yeah. So now. Coming back to the uh, to what it means for Arsenal, so this is basically very bad news for Arsenal because uh, Arsenal is one team that has, has has proven that they always choke. So I don't see them how they are winning this league. I don't see them how they are winning this league. Yeah, uh, I've seen some Arsenal fans also criticizing Ateta, saying he's an average manager. He has no experience. He can't make us win the league. I think as I think for me, I think Ateta is a brilliant manager despite not having uh, more experience. He was just an assistant to Pep Guardiola and then took over Arsenal. But if you ask me, he's way of a better manager compared to even other managers in the Premier League that have experience. Yeah, in the sense that uh, he made Arsenal to become a team that is uh, fighting for the title and not a team that is just fighting to stay in the top four. And if they give him a little more time, he would definitely deliver the league. The main, the main reason why it is very difficult for Ateta to deliver the league is because of people like Pep Guardiola. It is very difficult to win the league with Pep Guardiola in it. <laughs> it's very difficult to win the league because if you see Manchester City normally, they, 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 the minimum maybe they finish with 87 points, 88 points. So if you're going to win the league, you have to beat that. To be on the same side, you have to at least hit 90 points. You have to finish with the league at least 90 points. And that is no easy task to achieve because if you see the the, the points at which maybe Liverpool or Arsenal, uh, especially Liverpool has like finished the, you know, like um, in the league in the, in the recent years, if it was if they were playing in the Bundesliga or if they were playing in the La Liga, they would have won the league. But it was very difficult. It has been difficult for them to win the, the Premier League because Man City has been finishing with a lot of points. It's very difficult. 
we saw how Liverpool uh, uh, only lost one game the entire season. Lost one game the entire season, but still couldn't win the league. Imagine losing one game all season and you can't still win the league. That's just how good Manchester City is. It's very difficult. So, like I said, hey, Man City are likely to retain this Premier League title for the fourth time in a row. If that doesn't happen, it is only Liverpool that I can say might win the league. So, uh, let me know what you think about Arsenal and uh, what it means for them losing that game to West Ham. Thank you for watching.